Welcome to Turkey, Mr. Ahmed. Uh, could you please uh, tell about uh, yourself why you uh, here in Antalya, Turkey? What is your aim? Okay. Um, uh, I'm a I'm a professor of medicine and endocrinology. I've lived in uh, a lot of parts of the world, uh, but um, when I came to Turkey a couple of times, I just felt it was like home. I felt this is the place that I would like to settle in. Um, this is the place uh, I would like to live longer. I feel that people around me are like my brothers and sisters. I feel they think the same that I, I do. So I really like Turkey. And you have different cultures. The uh, people here accept anybody, as well as having beautiful places, whether you'd like the sea, the views, the mountains, whatever you feel uh, comfortable with, whatever you like, you'll find in Turkey. Um, why am I in Antalya in particular? Well, to be honest, it was just my chance to start with. I came here to, uh, to look for flats and, or apartments or anywhere to live in. That was before the pandemic. And I just felt really um, close to Antalya. Uh, I like the, la the landscape, I like the variety of things you can do, whether the sea, whether um, gardens, whether the people. Um, and by time, I started to make friends. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting more friends by time. Um, uh, whether uh, through business, whether through leisure, Anywhere, um, I really uh, find friends. You are now a uh, Turkish citizenship. It is also an interesting subject for us because yeah, li living is another issue, but being a citizenship is a very uh, nice idea. Uh, what yeah. do you, uh, why you I want to be a citizenship of Turkey? Yeah. Turkey? Again, it's like fate. Um, Kismet. First of all, I just wanted to just live here and settle here. And then I found that there are uh, rules and there are regulations that can help me to become a Turkish citizen. And I found that very interesting. So why not? I was, uh, one of those days, I was speaking to one of my American friends. Um, and um, we were talking about what we're going to do where we're going to retire, uh, where would you like to live? Um, and uh, I told him, look, I'm, I'm thinking about settling in, in Turkey. Uh, this is the place I like, this is the place I, I would like to be. Uh, so I'm thinking about um, buying uh, a, a property there and just uh, live there. They told me, wait a minute, you can become a Turkish citizen soon said, uh, how is that? And he told me about all the rules about citizenship. So I said, well, that's a very good idea. It's like um, um, hitting two birds with one stone. You're gonna stay in a place that you like, uh, and at the same time become a part of this country, you become a citizen of it. And I said, well, this is really good. Um, and previous to that, I used to live, for example, in the UK. And I got a permanent residence there. I was eligible to become a citizen of uh, uh, UK. But no offense, UK is a nice place. I have a lot of friends there. But this is not the place that I would feel comfortable with. This is not the place I would like to live all my life in. Or let my children grow up there. So it's about thinking about where you and your family would fit in. Um, and I think that this is the right place for families. Um, and as a Muslim, this is a great country for me. Um, to me, the best Muslim country in the world at the moment is Turkey. The best and the biggest. There are, I'm not saying this is the only good Muslim country, there are a lot of others, so we have no offense for other Muslim countries, but this is the best, the biggest, the strongest. 
And I truly believe in that. You know, and let's, I don't want to speak politics, but um, if we talk about anywhere in the world now, especially Europe, you have, in Turkey, you have European standards, European kind of environment, European kind of rules and settlement, and at the same time, you have your Muslim culture. So combining these together is really important for me. Again, I don't want to talk politics, but I have to say that. With now all this idea about Islamophobias, uh, if, you, if I was living in the uh, Britain or UK, and something happened at the other end of the world, that, uh, uh, that they will say, oh, it's a Muslim that's done that. And I'm in the UK, I have nothing to do with that, nothing uh, to, uh, no relation to what happened at the other end of the world, and I'm, I'll be starting to become implicated in this. You are the one that's done all this. Um, uh, I have to defend myself, defend others. Why should I do that? Right? We should concentrate on our lives. People should live uh, peacefully together. Right? Forget about uh, our religion, our background. We are all human beings. We should all live together peacefully. If people think that uh, certain things uh, are important, well and good, but we still have to live together. And can I just add as well, I'm a person that wherever I am, I like to socialize. I like to make friends and brothers where I, where, 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 wherever I settle in. Um, and on top of that, uh, I will, it's just my, in myself that I like to help others. Um, so again, this is a place where my help, I think, will make a big difference to a lot of people. Um, with, this, with a similar mind, people who understand what I'm doing, people who I can spend a lot of time with. May I ask a question? Of course. What is your future plan about your job? Yes. Your profession? At the moment, I'm living in Kuwait. Um, I still have two years there um, uh, in my contract. Um, after that, then it's, um, it's a matter of seeing what's the next step. I might settle in Turkey. I might, uh, I've started um, seeing a lot of doctors um, in hospitals as well as uh, uh, private places. It might be a good idea to settle here, uh, to work and help people. Um, that's as far as I, 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 can, um, I can think at the moment. Um, as, as we were talking before, I'm, I haven't decided where I would settle, right? Everything is, uh, you know, pulling me towards settling in Antalya. I'm going to Bursa today. I'm going to see a lot of other places. When I, when I first thought about um, settling here, I thought about Bursa. But again, whenever I come to Antalya, whether by chance, whether by will, it, I get pulled to Antalya. I get, I'm starting to, be, to grow roots in Antalya now. So um, Antalya is a nice place. People are nice. What I also like is uh, people can uh, communicate in, 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 in different languages. Um, and I think this is something that Turkey needs to work on. It needs to work on um, nice. speaking um, uh, different languages. And I'm sure a lot of people are doing that at the moment, especially the younger generation. Thank you very much.